Hey guys, welcome to MD's Robotronics. So this is a series of uh, videos just for uh, the robot controller M1. So these are the tutorials and a guide to show you how you could use this board to make your awesome robots. So we just saw last week how the very basic connections, how we could prepare a uh, external power supply like this and how uh, we could interface uh, motors and what were the jumper settings and the switch settings that we had to do to drive the motors. So that was one part of the tutorial. The next tutorial that we would uh, see now in this video is um, how we could interface the same, same motors to this particular board and uh, power this board using the external USB connection. So what you would need for that is you don't really need uh, this particular battery because we don't we were, we're not powering this particular board with external power supply so i don't need that so all that i need now is a board is my microcontroller board which is my robot controller board m1 and uh, a usb cable so this is a usb to mini usb cable so the mini usb side of this particular cable will be will go in there just like that and uh, the other the other side of this particular connector will go will be connected to the pc so i have my laptop down there so i would be plugging it uh, to my laptop okay there i have i have my board now being powered through the usb so you would be wondering okay there's no led glowing okay so just to remind you, the very first thing, apart from the jumper setting, when you power this particular board to the USB connection, you wouldn't see the LED glowing here. So this LED is just to indicate whether your board is being powered from your external source or not. So now that you don't see the LED there, which tells you that your board is not being powered from external source. And the second thing to enable your board and this switch also doesn't work since this switch is again for the external power supply and uh, all that we need to see is the jumper settings. So what I would do now is I would connect this particular jumper between the first, the second and the third. So that's how I would connect. So you see the first pin being left out, the second and third is being shorted. So this way. I am powering my particular board through the USB connection. Okay, and I have already have a program running in this particular uh, board, so which you would see on on the press of a reset button, you would see the LED glowing, which says that this particular board is now being powered by your uh, USB cable. So while you don't need an external power supply to run, execute, and uh, to make as many projects as you want. So probably like during your test phase or uh, some projects for which you would not need a particular, uh, for which you don't have a USB uh, power supply, you can use an external power supply or other projects which, which with which you would work with your laptop or your PC wherein you have your uh, USB interface and stuff like that, then you can use your USB connection. Okay, so we have the connection ready. We have our uh, five volts, uh, supply to the board coming out from the USB cable and our USB cable is very much alive and it's uh, I mean our robot controller board is very much alive and it's running so the same very same basic setup I would now uh, plug in my uh, DC motors that I have okay the same very same connection so I have uh, two of my DC motors and both of them connected this way 
So I have uh, two DC motors connected to my robot controller board and I can very much run this board. So now the, you need to notice two things down here. Since there is a 5 volt supply here, this particular motor driver will, would be utilizing the same 5 volt power supply and it would be running these motors. Okay, So that's one thing. Second thing, for your motors to run, you need to have this particular switch turned on, which is your second switch. Once you turn it on, your motor controller would run. Okay, but as you notice, the motors are not running. Okay, this is because your L293D IC, the motor driver circuit here, has uh, two different inputs. One is your 5 volt supply, which would drive the IC, and the other is your 9 volt supply, which when connected to an external power supply like this will use that particular source as such without being regulated to run the DC motors. So which means that you can run your motors at a very high speed rather than the regulated 5 volt supply. And uh, the disadvantage I would say here would be when you are powering this particular board from USB is that you cannot, the motors doesn't run as such. So what you need to do is a simple, very simple uh, short circuit that you need to do and uh, so what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna do that is like I'm gonna use a cable like this. Okay, if not, if not, you can use a, you can use another jumper like this, and uh, you need to short two wires. So as I told you, since we don't have an external supply with us right now, so this particular board is being powered from five volts. So since there is no external power supply connected we can safely short 5 volts and 9 volts. So when I do that, this particular motor driver circuit can utilize the same 5 volt supply that we're getting through the USB cable to drive the motors as well. So I hope you got you guys got that very simple. You need not worry about uh, the logic involved uh, behind the 5 volts and 9 volts. When you don't have your board powered from an external source, you can safely short 5 volts and 9 volts. So I'm going to say that again. When you don't have your board powered by an external power supply, you can safely short your 5 volts and 9 volts. And how I'm going to do that? I'm going to use a simple cable like this and two ends. One end I would snap it in place to a 5 volt connection and the other end I would connect to 9 volts. There you see the motors are spinning right now. I would turn them off by turning off this switch. Okay, so the, my motor is now uh, dead, they are not uh, spinning. So that's how you would use USB, USB connection to spin your motors. So just a very, very simple setup, apart from the normal setup that you do, just short 5 volts and 9 volts. So your, your board is now safe when it's safe to short 5 volts and 9 volts when you're using a cable like this. So I would simply turn it on and I would run the program that I have on board and you can see the motors change the directions in between so there you saw you just saw the direction of the motors changing I don't know if you can notice the wheel spinning that way So you can notice the LED blink in between which indicates that there's a change in direction of one of the motors. So just to make it more visible I would turn off and I would place something on that so that you can easily notice in which direction the motors are spinning. So what I would do is I would simply place something on the wheel which can show you in which direction the motor is spinning. Just some small markers down here. Okay, so just to show you in which direction. So now I'll enable uh, the motor driver circuitry, and I will reset my circuitry. So you can notice the di different directions that the motor is gonna spin. It says that you you can control uh, the direction of motors in any direction that you want using this particular robot controller board.
so that's about it guys that's what I wanted to show you how you could interface uh, the motors and your USB connectivity and how you could uh, power this particular board with the USB power supply keep watching keep watching MD's Robotronics channel for uh, more of videos on how uh, we use this particular robot controller board to make some of the awesome robots. So we'll be utilizing this board for the rest of our uh, projects and uh, we'll see what all we can come up with and uh, do leave your comments below and uh, subscribe using through my channel so that's what i wish just subscribe and like the video if you really like it and post your comments if you would like if you would want me to do something or if you have any queries just post your queries uh, below this video thanks guys thanks for watching